let's talk about Blender 4.1 and changes that you need to pay attention to if you're modeling hard surface in Blender and you're coming from previous versions of Blender, okay, like 3.6, 4.0. However, if you're a beginner, then you probably should be watching our free course, which is called Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender. It's a good place to start learning Blender. It's most likely the easiest and the fastest way to get into hard surface because we will teach you all the foundations, the tools, the UI, the basics of modeling, hard surface, etc. in just a few hours. And like I said, the course is free. So, you know, go ahead, grab the link in the video description and enjoy. The first thing you need to pay attention to is going to be all too smooth. And I have a video on that when I'm ranting about this bullshit change. But, you know, thing is that uh, it is what it is, right? Now, there is an add-on that allows you to roll back to previous way of how the auto smooth used to behave. But honestly, if you're using hard ups and box cutter, it makes no sense. And I'll show you in a minute. So when you're in Blender 4.1 and above, and you're gonna add a cube here, right? And you're gonna run, uh, look at the modifier stack here. Yeah? You're gonna run bevel or whatever, like cut. You're gonna see that uh, hard ups and box cut are gonna automatically add auto smooth to your mesh. And it's really important because, um, you know, you don't need to really go to uh, your modifiers, go to normals, and you don't need to actually add another auto smooth on top of that. So hard ups and box cutter have their own version of auto smooth, okay? So now the only thing that you need to pay attention to is actually where this auto smooth is in the stack. Because if I'm going to add, for example, weighted normals here, and I'm going to now run a boolean, you can see that auto smooth jumps on the bottom of the stack. However, when I remove the bevel, this is what happens, right? And if I move the auto smooth above here, again we have a clean mesh. So at the moment there is no auto sorting for auto smooth. So if you go to Control tilde menu to the workflow section. I don't think there's auto smooth here, but for some reason, it's actually moving about here in the stack. But uh, basically, um, if, if I were you, I would just stick to whatever hard ups is suggesting. So, you know, if the auto smooth is supposed to be below, just keep it there. And, you know, you're going to be running bevel anyway. But I just want to, you know, show you what happens if you, for example, remove the bevel and you're going to see this nasty shading. Well, the order of modifiers is what's causing it, okay? So if you nuked away the normals or, or moved the auto smooth above here, right? Things are gonna go back to normal, but when you add bevel, this is gonna jump down again. In a nutshell, you don't have to right click on a mesh and smooth by angle uh, at any point because this option does basically fuck all, okay? Just, just forget about all this. Secondly, um, if you want to adjust auto smooth, you're gonna have to do it from this modifier, or you can also do it um, by shift clicking on sharpen and adjusting angle here. You can see that angle adjusts um, here in the bottom and in the modifier, okay? So you can do it this way as well. This is just as it used to be, nothing has changed here. Now, second thing that has changed is the modifier menu, and now we have to deal with this shit, okay? So you have to actually look through these fucking menus uh, until you learn which modifier goes fucking where. You know, you gotta deal with this bullshit. So what I suggest you do, go to Gumroad and download an add-on that's actually free. And uh, it's called, let me just see here, this one, user interface old modifier menu plus favorites, right? And just install it and you're gonna be good to go. Um, really appreciate uh, this add-on mate, whoever made it. Thank you so much for that because that is really amazing. This is why I'm giving you a shout out. And you can see that here you got old modifier menu stock, which is absolutely beautiful. You know, that's how it should be. It's nice and clean. You can see everything at a glance and it's really easy to find stuff, okay? And the last thing we need to talk about is materials, okay? So when I'm gonna add a mod here manually or, you know, using hard ups, um, just mod this cube, you can see that the BSDF um, display has changed. And now we have these fucking menus again, like with modifiers, I just... Anyway, so you, you gotta open all this rubbish here to get into, you know, deep, really deep into the mods. now. I'm not really using BSDF mods uh, because I'm using our add-on material works. And now if you will notice uh, the add-on comes with a new feature that has been added recently together with the 4.1 update, which is HDRI support, which is fantastic. So the add-on comes with uh, six HDRIs by Alex Sancho. And if you click here, you know, you can just add HDRI to your scene. You can turn it on and off. You can rotate it. You can add strength. And you can, of course, change the um, HDR to whatever you want. And you can also add your own maps if you have them, right? So, you know, so there's no need to go to shade editor ever again. Okay, you don't have to see this shit ever again. 
so you know you're gonna save on therapy bills okay then so now i would suggest using material works but if you for some reason have to use um bsdf mods this is what you're gonna have to deal with so now let me show you something really important when you when you work with decals especially alpha decals okay so when you have these text decals um you're gonna be um, seeing this really fragmented annoying weird menu and uh things how you adjust decals changed a bit okay so first of all alpha um, slider which is here which determines you know how visible this uh, how transparent this decal is is still here but if you want to change the color of this decal it's actually done a bit differently to previous versions of blender okay so in 3.6 it's going to be different and in 4.0 and above it's going to be different so what you need to do you need to click on color right you need to disconnect the color and then you can actually adjust the color uh, to your liking and that's how you do it all right so you know that's basically the the only change and then the mission is of course here you need to change it from you know black to whatever color and then change the strength and you're gonna have an emissive decal so that's how you adjust um, things in terms of decals in a blender 4.0 and above so these are all the changes that you should be paying attention to and basically gonna affect the, you know the way you work in blender 4.1 and above and hopefully they will not fuck up anything else all right thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one